Hello, my name is Goran Mitic, physicist based in Toronto. I challenge you, NASA, to disprove, if you can, the fact that our epic search for the fabric of the universe now ends with my discovery that stars consist of boiling lava, supercharged by anti-gravity. My discovery solves the persistent problems of dark matter and dark energy and reveals a simple, logical and obvious universe that is self-evident. The debate is on, beginning November 21st, 2013, here in Toronto's Dot Channels TV. Hollow boiling lava stars versus dark matter. Here is the link, you can see the video. And let me now give you a short summary of my thesis. My own independent research about the fabric of the universe was going like this. The fabric of the universe must be everywhere. Everywhere means also here on this planet. So question is, what is the predominant material here on Earth? It's rock. When we dip through the rocks, we come to the liquid magma, to the lava. And in every eruption of volcano, what we can see, it's lava. The very important thing here is to see that lava ejected from volcanoes falls back down in a free fall. Only liquid lava falls back down in a free fall. No gases, no fire. We have to remember this, this pattern. We will use it later. So around the stars, we have planets, which are called crust of stones covering a liquid lava. But then we have small stones, which we call asteroids. And the first asteroid belt we can see in our solar system is the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. But also notice that we have two clouds in orbit of Jupiter. So rocks are everywhere around. But even we, when we move further beyond the orbit of Pluto, we are facing huge asteroid belt, donut shape, which we named Kuiper belt. And even it is huge, it's immensely small comparing to the Oort cloud which is really, really huge and covering all the solar system in one sphere of asteroids. So we have a pattern how star creates their systems. And then when we observe galaxy, which is created of stars, and if we put liquid magma instead of hydrogen, then we don't need dark matter to explain rotation of the galaxy. What we didn't get, we didn't get actually what our star is. And at least now, using our modern technology, we can clearly see what our sun is. And when we watch videos or photos of the sun, we can see that it is liquid. We can see the difference between the atmosphere, which is obviously gas, chromosphere and corona, but we see that body of the sun is the liquid. We see eruption, we see, we see play of the, of the lava. And this is particular video very good to see how liquid lava was ejected and then by reaching certain height, because it didn't have enough speed to leave gravity field of the sun, dropping and falling back down to the surface of the sun. That's the same pattern we mentioned with the lava from volcano. Only liquid lava can fall back down in a free fall. No gases, no fire. So the stars are bodies created by liquid boiling lava. Now, when we switch 
hydrogen for liquid magma, we come to another problem. We come to too much matter in the universe, and that doesn't make sense. So we have to understand actually how stars are built and how they work. To understand that part, which was really tough part, I needed to see experiment done on the space station Mir, which was experiment with the water and bubbles rotating together in zero gravity. The result of that experiment is what you can see on this video, that all bubbles gather around the axis of rotation, creating core. That's the play of gravity force and centrifugal force, which create pressure on a, such a curve that everything, bu all bubbles are pushed towards the axis of rotation. So that was needed for me to see and to understand how star really works. And on the animation which I created to explain how really star works from inside, and also outside, you can see that due to the rotation and constant creating of the bubbles, the chamber is created inside the star, and pressure is so big that must be released somehow, and that pressure is released through north and south pole. This is point of view of one of the poles. So we see release of the pressure, gases, but also gases along bring the drops of magma of lava, creating belts, asteroid belts. Kuiper belt is created by eruptions from the surface of the sun. And the Oort cloud is created through eruptions from the north and south pole, from the pulsation of our own star. So all stars are pulsars. We see that solar wind above north pole and south pole is at least three times faster than solar wind from any other surface area of the sun. And we see the pulsars. We see them like a separate category of the stars, but actually we see some of the stars among the billions of the stars, we see from the point of view or north and south pole. And if we send our sons to see our own sun from point of view of south or north pole, we will see the same, that our star is pulsar like every other star. So all stars are pulsars, they have a chamber, they are hollow, and they create energy using anti-gravity force. Anti-gravity phenomena here on Earth is fire. As Newton realized that apples falling down because of gravity, my eureka about anti-gravity in 1996 was about fire and realizing that fire is anti-gravity phenomenon. When we come to that realization that stars are hollow boiling lava bodies, creating energy by anti-gravity, we don't need dark matter, we don't need, need dark energy. Everything becomes again simple, logical and obvious. So I'm inviting you to take your part in this debate, you're welcome to Toronto. You're welcome to that channel TV studio. We hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching this video and greetings from Toronto. Thank you. Well, here's a little tune with some new revelation that will change everything we know. Well, it's the kind of thing that'll cause a sensation from Tokyo to Toronto. Way back in the days, they thought the world was flat. Till someone dared to say, there's a problem with that. The truth lies not in thought, but lies in what is found. And with new discovery, we learned the world was round.